Hey you guys, if you guys want to see this recipe, Dijon onion crunch chicken that we got from HelloFresh.com, stay tuned and keep on watching. So good, so good. Hey you guys, so today we're going to be making Dijon mustard uh, chicken breast. Uh, I found this recipe, we watched Nicole Guerrero and she gets sponsors all the time from HelloFresh and I found the recipe on HelloFresh myself so I am going to be taking some chicken breast right here I'm gonna show you all the ingredients first uh, Monterey Jack cheese uh, we're gonna use honey mustard instead of Dijon mustard because I don't like Dijon mustard but I do love honey mustard we have some green beans here or you could do string beans um, the recipe calls for garlic bread but we're gonna be doing baby red mashed potatoes today um, and we're gonna spice these up a little bit with a different couple ingredients we'll show you that once you know we do these and then you need some crispy onions so I'm gonna try to put the recipe here somewhere the picture and then I'm gonna try to put the recipe down below for you guys so in case you guys want to make this and recreate it just um, you know tag me or something like that I'm gonna go ahead and take my chicken breast and I'm gonna cut it in half because it's too thick um, for four people and then I'll show you the next step so here is my meat let me show you guys um, the way that I cut it because as you can see it's a little bit thinner I wish I had one of those I don't know what's it called where you could meat just mallet. yeah so right now I am going to take now food police you do what you want in your kitchen I am going to be taking some lemon juice I feel like lemon juice to me uh, is better than vinegar if I don't have lemon juice then I'll just use vinegar but I feel like it washes my meat a lot better so I'm just gonna let this sit here for at least five minutes and wash it like you know rinse it out like three times afterwards um, this is optional I don't like my meat slimy granted I know when you go out to eat dinner and stuff like that a lot of the times they don't even wash the meat that's fine I get it but if I can control that in my home that's what I'm gonna do so then I'll show you the next step um, usually this only adds to use uh, salt and pepper to season it but I'm gonna be adding some other additional seasonings because you guys know how we are about our flavorings here and we like it to be flavored okay so let's season our meat I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper and then I'm going to take some garlic powder yeah the recipe just asks for salt and pepper like she said so yeah you guys we saw Nicole Guerrero well actually Jeremy was making this for her because he's the cook in the family and so I'm like yeah we gotta bite off of that recipe and make it at home cuz hello fresh like they be sponsoring a lot of the big channels they'll never sponsor us so thank you for giving me the free recipe cuz I'm gonna do it at home no not only that like I don't care if they sponsor me or not I'm gonna flip it over you guys um, the simple fact some some of the times um, like my co-workers used to order hello fresh and they were like it's a very expensive um, the only reason they would do it is because they would use like discount codes and they would use different emails to get deals because it is pretty pricey from what I heard it's like 80 something dollars or even more don't quote me on it but it's pricey so yeah so and if they have the recipe online now why not get the ingredients itself you got to pick out your ingredients because sometimes you know they pick the ingredients for you which is fine but you know you know the quality of what you want what potatoes you like better do you like them really hard or soft you know like when you go pick out your groceries you know like fruits and stuff i know like when people do instacart and stuff like that like you know sometimes they don't pick the best quality of produce if that makes yeah, any sense it's true so yeah let us know down below if you've tried hello fresh if it's you know up your alley or whatever so yeah like i said there's nothing wrong with it if you use it but you know i'm just gonna get the recipes for free yeah i'm gonna put this in the fridge for a little bit to marinate um and then i'll show you the next step okay so i'm just gonna take some of my honey mustard and i'm just gonna squeeze some on top of each meat and then just sp spread it out with a spoon i was gonna say spoon it out with a spoon and then you just want to put this meat in at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes um the, it, it calls for you to put the cheese right now but i want my meat to cook first and then i'll put the cheese 
and the onion strips if that makes any sense because that's how I want to do it so we're just gonna pop this in the oven it smells so good already yeah I can't wait to eat mm -hmm. yeah so we're preheating um, the oven at 425 like she said we're gonna cook it and then we're gonna top it off with the cheese and the crunchies so while our chicken is in the oven baking, we're letting this um, pot of water come to a boil. Darlene's going to put some salt, as you can see. And then we're just going to blanch our green beans for about 20, um, 10 minutes. Because my father hates crunchy vegetables. Me and my sister, my brother, don't mind it. So I'm just going to let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to let them um, cook for 10 minutes. And then I'll show you the next step. So this is the butter that I recently got. This is the butter that we're gonna be using today. So let me show you how much we have on our wooden spoon. This is the amount that we have of butter. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil and add it as well, just a little touch. Let this come together and melt. So we have our pot right now on low and Marlene is just gonna take like four or five garlic cloves and just grate it. Um, as you can see, you really can't see it very well because the camera is out of focus. But we're just going to grate this in. You can add as much garlic as you want or don't add any at all. And then I'll show you the next step. So here is the garlic. Some of them fell in whole, so that's fine. And we're going to add some pepper flakes, right? Pepper yeah. flakes. And then I'm going to take some oregano as well and just add it to the bottom because Marlene said... Let's add a little yeah, bit. Just of a little oregano. bit. This is my first time doing this. I've never done green beans because they've been like bland my whole life. So I wanted to try this recipe because me and Darlene are trying new vegetables. Yeah. So we're gonna put the um, green beans right now. Green beans overload. Let's go. Mm, Omg, it, it smells, smells so, so good. good. Omg. I'm gonna hit it a little bit with a little bit of salt and as you can see all the color like Ooh. it's just awesome just gonna add a little bit of salt I think that should be good with salt and we're also gonna add a little bit of black pepper I have to grate it off camera because it's like a mill a pepper mill as you can see I added some black pepper when I tell you it smells amazing in here it's insane how good the house smells like omg i cannot get enough so here's my meat after 25 minutes i know for a fact i'm gonna let it go for a lot longer um just my personal preference and because i cut it pretty it's not thin as i wanted to i'm just gonna add some of the cheese right now and this is monterey jack for some reason i thought the recipe called for some parmesan cheese but it's a Monterey Jack. So I'm gonna be adding this on top and it's gonna get nice and gooey and cheesy. That's how I like it. So I'm just gonna continue putting this on top of my chicken, which is only a little bit of cheese left right here. So now I'm just gonna add some of the onion strips, the crunchy. I'm excited. Crispy onions on top. So I'm going to add a little bit more. You excited? Yeah, because we've never eaten anything like this. And when Nicole and Jeremy were eating it, they were so happy. And they were like, yo, this is so fire. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I I'm excited. Wait. And by the way, these crispy chips are freaking phenomenal. I love it yeah so much. she's like a, lo a lover of onions everything like her sandwiches everything has to have onions i'm gonna just add a little bit to marlene's piece because i know she don't like it so back to the oven this goes okay you guys so whenever you want to spruce up your mash or take it to another level all you have to do is add some cheddar cheese this is triple cheddar i don't want to add too too much the queen of cheese is talking and then you want to add some sour cream and this is the daisies brand um do, 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 do a dollar for daisy so when we tell you this is amazing life changer 
Um, we read this in um, one of those tips that they do in one of these bags. Darlene and I went to a local supermarket and got these um, mashed potato bags. Yeah, and it they was a, gave, like a box or something. Yeah, and they usually have like little tips of recipes that you could spruce up the mashed potatoes or come up with different ideas. So they told us put cheddar cheese and sour cream and girl ever since we tried that little tip we've never gone back yeah it's amazing so i'm just gonna continue to work the cheese in let this go for a couple minutes because we like our mashed potatoes really hot and for some reason like the box mashed potatoes like they take forever cover this up let it go for a couple more minutes and then i'll plate up and show you the rest of the food so this is dinner you guys look how good it looks i put it, the mashed potatoes under and i put the chicken on top let me know if you recreate this you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this like comment and we'll see you next time bye guys